King Trunk back again with yet an attempt of a real hell review. The one I'm going to review just now is an Adams broadside. 6.3 on Richter scale for this bad boy. Let's get it sparked. 6.3. I've tried a few of the beers. What it springs to mind is a ghost ship, which was actually quite good. So here we have the broadside. And I'm nearly sure about 100 years ago I tried this in a well spoons in Glasgow. Uh, but I can't remember. That way, you drink that many beers, especially anyone who's drinking real oils, drink that many. So you forget. So anyway, let's go. We've got the broadside in the glass. Nice big fluffy head. Big sort of like, uh, sort of, what would you say that? It's ready, tingy brown, whatever you want to call it. Brown old, they used to call it years ago. So now let's go in for a nose. Very malty, picking up the malt. A little bit of caramel, a little bit of toffee. That's what you're expecting from these kind of beers. Not picking up the alcohol content at all, 6.3. So anyway, Sophie King drunk drinking ah, an Adams broadside, 6.3 in a Richter scale. Let's see what it's all about. Slangy, bro. That's the way I love beer. I love beer. I love multi beer like that. That is fantastic. 6.3. Firstly, I ain't picking that up. I'm picking up the toffee. I'm picking up the malts, which are very subtle. I, I tried the beer earlier on tonight. It was a lot heavier on Richter scale than this one. But the malts were just overpowering. This is just... Oh, oh, lovely, fantastic, fantastic, roasted malts, a little bit of chocolate in the back end, oh, this, that is a fantastic beer, that is lovely, that is lovely stuff, Adam's brought, oh, oh, oh. Adam's your own winner here. I'm going to pour that in there. The broadside of Adam's. I've tasted. I've only tasted two of your beers. I've tasted this, uh, the broadside, and I've tasted the ghost ship. And then I've got to admit, both of them have been superb. Uh, that that has been really good. <clears throat> that is one I would not drink in the summer. I dare say you would use guys wouldn't put that out to your bars or your bars anyway. Well, you might the, the <clears throat> a beer festival here and there, but oh, it's lovely, very six point three. I mean, ain't getting that from that. I'm not getting that at all. It's very soft. It's creamy. It's light malt. Which a lot of beers you get some of them that heavy duty and then you got the next day and you've got major heartburn. You're not gonna get that from that. That that's lovely. That is that is a recipe. That's a chef's a chef special here. Or should I say a brewmaster special? That is lovely. So anyway, if you had the Adams, whoa, the Adams, well, I'm going to give it actually, I'm going to give it, I'm going to score that pretty high actually. The Adams, the broadside, what is it? I can't remember the Richter scale. I'll put it at the top of the page. I'm going to give that, I'm going to give that a solid 9 out of 10. So anyway, if you've had this beer, you liked it, you didn't like it. 
I don't really care, but you can drop a line below. And if you stuck along at the end of the video, Sophie Keen Trunk will thank you from the bottom of his heart, and if not, oh, at the bottom of his pink glass. <coughs> and I'll hopefully catch you in another English ale review. Slangy Keep drinking a good English ale. Ciao for now.